Yo, what's up? <laughs> No, the video isn't glitched. This is actually me talking to you on a black screen. And that's because, in case you were on mobile and couldn't see the entire title, this is the last call for the main series. Meaning that, well, in this episode, spoilers, I get up to 117 shrines, meaning there are three remaining. I've been informed in the comments that one of those is in Hyrule Castle itself. The other one, I know, is in the Heber Maze. But the third one? I have no clue where that is. But that's where you come in. Comment telling me where it is. I don't even if you haven't played the game, you can look it up on a wiki. I don't care. Comment tell me where it is, and I will feature your comment in the next episode. Even if there are redundant comments, everyone who suggests this, I will feature their comment. Cool. Also, if there's any place you'd like to see me go visit, something you'd like to see me do, whether it's a quest or just a cool vista that you saw, type it in the comments. Especially if I should be doing it before I enter Hyrule Castle, and I will get to it next recording session. Alright, enjoy today's episode, <sighs> and I can't believe I actually gave the last call. Man. Running around at the speed of sound, got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Gotta shoot moose and then keep moving on, cause what lies ahead only... One way to find out! <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we scoured. We absolutely scoured. I mean, we walked in some paths. We scoured the Hebra Re West Summit. Getting a bunch of Korok seeds along the way, because that's all it offered. But at last, we uncovered, we ended the episode, where is it? Where are we? We ended the episode by... Coming across the Lanoku Shrine, our 115th, I believe, shrine? We are very close. Actually, yeah, I, I know it's our 115th because we have three three shrine orbs and uh, we have two upgrades left. So, we are very close. This episode, we're going to continue our trek, exploring that which we have not. Coming across a Lazalfos cult. I think we already found this thing a while back. Let's just blow them all up and then land back on our horse the style or not and then speed through speed through speed through Woo. okay let's go let's see have we been to Tama Pond we have but we haven't done anything there I'm not sure what this path is supposed to be we just is that a glitch do you see that that's a really weird path. I'm not sure about that. But we're gonna go to Tama Pond, because it doesn't look like we've done anything there. We're gonna kill Bird along the way, because we are heartless murderers. Uh, Tama Pond. Tama, Tama Tond is here? Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go back. Let's go back right here. And then place a travel beacon? Such a great... Such a great ability to place those. And then let's go to Tama Pond, see if there are any shrines over there. If not, then we'll just warp back and go the opposite direction. What? Wait, whoa. Are we? Oh, we're not he We're not in uh, Tabantha anymore, are we? No, we're back in... Uh, what is it called? Called? We're, we're in the Tabantha Frontier. Oh. Well, I guess we can explore. Is this a... No, it's not. Oh, it is. Oh, you you actually confused me. You look different. And I don't mean to sound racist, but you really do. All of you. All of your brethren look exactly the same. And usually I'm really good about telling when there is one of you, but... Uh, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, I am. Okay, you fall down. I'm gonna jump on top, and then I'm going to fly away. Boom! Bam! Black! I can't even see! Look at all these explosions! I can't even see anymore. Where? Oh, there you are. And then... Kill him, maybe? This guy's taking a lot of hits. A lot of hits that he shouldn't. Die! That did not work. Uh, switch, 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 switch. Stasis. Dead? Oh, come on, he's so close. 
poke. There. I just had to poke him in the backside. That's all that was needed. And we'll get something from this. Uh, diamond, topazes, amber. A lot of stuff that's appreciated, but also I'm to the point where I don't need to upgrade anything anymore. And I have, like, infinite money. So it's it's not really appreciated. It's, it's just one of those things, like, those Christmas gifts, which you don't need from, like, relatives and they're like socks but you have a bajillion socks and you say thanks there's actually a really great video <laughs> of this I, I forgot what he's given but i think he's like given a kiwi or something no it's, it's an avocado and th there's this little kid he's like an avocado thanks and he just sets it to the side it's it's really sad because at like three years old he's already he's already educated in the culture of of receiving things that he doesn't want and not really showing real gratitude for it and acting but it, it's a it's a funny video nonetheless okay uh i don't think wait a minute have we been there no we have not we have not been there at all which that is 100 percent guaranteed a korok seed so i think i'll fly over there and grab actually wait do you see that that's weird that looks like a shrine. Like, that looks unique. Huh. Okay, we'll fly over there, see if we pick up a shrine blip. If not, then I'll, I'll probably just move on. It's probably just uh, the beginning of a pattern. Tabanta Village Ruins. This is the official introduction we were supposed to receive to this area. Instead, we, uh, we made a, a couple weird decisions or i did i guess went to the top of this mountain and then flew all the way over to the tower so we never got to see the proper introduction to the snow to the snow area but i guess we will now looks like there are a ton of enemies in everywhere which it was probably then a bad decision for me to just run in get out okay, i need to get a quark seed i need to loot this area and most importantly i need to pay attention for shrines Though I highly doubt there are going to be any shrines around here. Oh, and this! We have 449 Korok Seeds right now. This is the 450th. Once we get this, we will be exactly halfway. At episode 1, what is it, 118? We will be halfway done. With all of the Korok Seeds. And, with style... 450, baby! Which means... Four, there are 450 more. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The Piquita Stone Grove. One of... If not... Actually... Yeah, one of the final... Regions, which we have yet to... Visit. In the Heber region. Uh, sorry. Sorry, girl. Didn't mean to do that. Looks like Agro won't be able to join us. The, uh, the, the slope is a bit too steep. Well, I also, why do I have Jeruk's Protection equipped? That's lame. Jeruk's Protection is for people who don't know how to shield bash. And judging by the intro of last episode, I am clearly someone who knows how to shield bash. Oh, did I catch a glimpse of a shrine there? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Hello, shrine. Whoa! Whoa! I did not see where that came from. Although I did see where it went. It blew up. I got a piece of amber from it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get out of the way. Just casually. There. I don't know if it's throwing snowballs. Hopefully it's not a new en- Well, actually, it'd be really cool if it were a new enemy. We haven't seen a new enemy in... Well, since we were at Gerudo, I think. We also have... Have you had to see a Korok in the last two and a half minutes? Oh, hello. Oh. Got it. In case you're wondering why I'm suddenly showing Korok seeds, well, in exploration such as this, it is a major part of what I'm doing. Like, I, I'm setting out with the, the sole purpose of finding shrines, yes, but also the purpose of finding Korok seeds. Because I need Korok seeds. Because I'm addicted to Korok seeds. You get it? And so it it's kind of not doing it, pro it justice. 
if I don't show one of the major reasons why I'm here. Now, this area is is rife with with hidden things. Like the ability to hide something is is very high here. The Rock Uwag Shrine. Like there could be something above us, something below us. There could be shrine or there could be Korok seeds just everywhere here. So I, I really need to be careful. But the Rog Uwag Shrine is why I'm here first and foremost. So let's visit, let's go inside this. Power of Reach, Rock Uwag Shrine. Hmm. So I see what they kind of want us to do, but I guess just fire arrow up the place. Uh, I have a I have a jump rope for this. Let's see what this does. Definitely on fire. In fact, I don't even need normal arrows. All right, I don't need fire arrows for this. Okay, so we can jump through. Oh, hello. Oh, you have a weapon. That's cute. That's really cute. I'm gonna kill you with my shield. Boop. Oh, it was sad because, you know, it died. Is that really sad, though? Okay, so this thing... We blow it up. It lowers, and then we use this. And now we have a ramp. Uh, I think there are alternate ways for us to go, but ultimately... Hey! Oh, you have a weapon too! That's really cool of you! That's really cool. Come on. Use the weapon. I am, I'm just kidding. Use it. Ah! Use it again. There. Bloop. And then... Wait. Bloop. Uh, it's disrespectful to kill people with shield bashes, but it's even more disrespectful when, like, you're not reflecting an attack. You're just... You're, you're literally killing them with your shield. That's just... That's disrespectful. Okay. So, we're over this way, and there's a dead end. So, I, I guess we're gonna have to come back here. And... I'm also guessing that we're going to need this for a, a greater calling, a greater purpose. It's just the right size, I think. Yeah, it's just the right size where it can fit through here. So, I'm going to take this with me. I may not need it, but the option is there. And then let's do this, this shrine like they intend. We light up our arrows. Shoot them off. Wait a minute. Was that... What was the purpose of those... Huh. Okay. Well, we can barely nab the chest from here. And inside the chest is... A drill shaft? We have, we have hardly... I don't think we've ever gotten this on screen. Uh, I need to read the description, in fact. Goron artisans used recycled metal to forge this weapon. The tip is made from an old excavation bore, which affords it unmatched piercing capabilities. Cool! Drill shaft. I'm guessing it's a spear. Also, we can apparently knock the torches over. Oh, we can very easily knock the torches over. Um, hmm. Well, I, I fir should first probably get the drill shaft so I don't have to come back here later. And at least we can s check it out because I don't think I've ever wielded one on screen, like I said. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a spear. Huh. Well, neat. But I'm taking this back. Uh... I guess we can shoot that thing. Light up our arrow. And then shoot that. Or not. Oh, that's cool. It automatically lights our arrow. That's really sweet. So we can just use that forever. Ad nauseum. That's, that's really nice. Okay, did I miss something here? Because I have a growing suspicion... That I missed something. Oh, I know what we need to do. I'm not gonna go back and get fire to get it. I'm gonna shoot that, which would catch those on fire. Yeah. Which then releases the switch. Oh, I don't think we've also seen a, a barrel burn before. Uh, there it goes. And then that opens this up, which gets our key, which then we get to come out where we got that drill shaft. Okay, that makes sense. So, the key should be here. Yep, small key. And I'm guessing this will put us out 
where we got the drill shaft. Yeah, I was right. Okay. So, yeah, there are two ways to go. One had a treasure. And then we can use the small key on this, which either solves it or puts us right at another... It solved it. Okay. Well, we did it. Is there anything else? Any other secrets? Does not appear so. This is our 116th shrine, which means we got another heart container from this. And it means uh, something else as well. So, what does that mean for the Hebrew region? Well, as far as I know, I, I haven't really looked up the... Well, I, I guess I have kind of looked up... Looked at a brief list of all the shrines in the area. Not their locations, mind you, but their names. And from my understanding, this is indeed the final shrine in the area. If I'm wrong, please, 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 please correct me. But I believe this is the final shrine in the Heber region. Meaning that we are done with the Heber region. Outside of Korok Siege, which I will be collecting off screen, yada, yada, yada. Otherwise, uh, I've looked at a list of the Gerudo region, and apparently we're missing, or I am missing, two shrines. Two shrines are somewhere locked inside this area, which I, I thought I completed it, but apparently there are two more shrines hidden here. Otherwise, I know there's a shrine here. I have been told that there is one directly southwest across the river, in Rabia Plains. It was an old comment, um, and, but it also makes sense judging by the, the void of shrines here and the fact that we've never been. Now, that means if you've been counting, one, two, three, four. That's the fi Those are the final four shrines. So, I'm going to end off this episode by going here and getting whatever is here. And then, I would like in the comment section for you guys to tell me where the other two shrines are. The two missing shrines that I have no clue where they are. I, obviously, I know where this is. I don't want, I don't even really want tips for this. But I do want tips for the other two shrines. Also, this is my opportunity. You can see my map zoomed out. I'll do this again at the end of the episode. And compare your map. If you completed Breath of the Wild, gotten all 120 shrines... Compare this with mine, and tell me what I am missing. For all I know, maybe I read the list wrong, and I actually have all of the ones here. Maybe there are a couple in Central Hyrule. I don't know. But what I want you to do is look at your, your copy of Breath of the Wild, or even a completed version, a completed map, and tell me what I'm missing. Alright, with that out of the way, we are going to leave Hebra temporarily, go over to Lineru, fly southwest, see if we can get this shrine. What on earth is with all these deer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine deer so far. There's a goat, I'm not counting the goat. A Korok down there? Yeah, there's a Korok. 10, 11, 12. Grab this Korok! Missed it. Uh, of course it's in the water. Got it. So we've seen like 11 deer thus far? Okay. 11, 12, 13. What is with the deer? I mean, I'd kill them, but I feel like it has some purpose. Sort of like, uh, what was it? 13, 14. 15. Uh, there's a mountain, Satoru Mountain had a, a, like, a purpose for all the goats. Oh! And there's Cass. And a fire. And also a tree that undoubtedly has a Korok seed on it. Hello, Cass. Wait, <gasps> is this Cass's final... Oh, this might be Cass's final shrine. Hello, Cass. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone was around. Ah, I knew we'd meet again. Though I never imagined it would be here. I know a song is about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that veils a crown of bone. Prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne. Only then 
the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? There's certainly a secret hiding here, but it is beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. The crowned beast. Hmm, based on the fact that we saw about 30 deer. I wonder. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this fire. Because this this fire is about as interesting as the uh, the shrine, because usually sh a fire means people, and also, you know, a Korok seed. But we're gonna check out the people first. What is here? A want? Oh, hello. Oh, are you? A okay. Well, the Iga Clan al always has funny dialogue, so let's let's see. Oh, you heard me humming, eh? I'm Eric. I'm traveling the world on a journey of self-discovery. I'm heading for Zorn's domain now, but I'm lost. I was just about to give up. But then I'm like, I heard a voice coming from the North Tower. Crossing the Rotella River would be next to impossible, though. Uh, Zora's domain? Zora's domain is home as Zora. It's a town in Lanayru. But crossing the Rotella River is impossible. It's a hard place to get to, so I just gave up altogether. Oh. So he's not Yiga Clan. He's just... Exposition... Man. Yeah. He's part of the exposition clan because he is the exposition man. And then there's a Korok seed. Pro so presumably, what we need for this is a stag because it needs a, a crown of bone. So I need to ride a stag. And in typical pal fashion, I think the best kind of kill is overkill. So I'm a... Uh, Light this on fire. There's a stag right over there. I'm gonna fly up. Da 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 Dear Master Pal, I am one with the deer. What is this? What is this running animation? This is one of the few times when I think... Well, I guess that's not true. Seinfeld goes to everything. But this is best... Best, uh... Quantified by... I guess we write it on the throne, which is that. We have no. Oh, we have to resoothe the deer. That's weird. Okay. Ride, ride on my stag steed. But don't Ah, I feel like I'm I'm from Lord of the Rings, or I guess it would be the Hobbit that that was in. I'm not actually sure if that's canon or not. The the Thranduil riding a, a stag, but it looked cool. It looked really cool in the movie, but it really. <laughs> That looking at it now, with this running animation and how deer actually run, that would be the most uncomfortable thing in the world for a guy. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm th that deer will always be with us. I will never eat that raw prime meat. <laughs> I, I killed it because it was special to me, and thus I will always keep that deer with me. All right, the Mezalo Shrine. Let's go in there and make our our orb count Meza high. Get it? Because it was called Mezalo. Yeah, I'm I'm awesome, and my jokes are cool. Ancient trifecta, Mezalo Shrine. Okay, so the trifecta being. What? There's this slope and a switch, which I should probably hit with the Master Sword. Oh. It brings this over here. Okay. And then we have that. Oh! Oh. Okay, so now we have a source that it'll constantly rotate. Alright, I think. 
right? Maybe? It should hit it again. It's kind of weird. I guess we could do it but like this. From a distance? Yeah, that, that works. Okay. I'm not sure if that's what they intended us for us to do, but it, it's a janky way of getting this to function. Okay, and then we leave the box, grab the chest. Inside the chest is a thunder blade. Uh, I think I will take the thunder blade. This is about dead anyway. Uh, so we'll, we'll grab the thunder blade. And then stasis that once again, and then we should be able to finish this. Uh, let's stasis it. Grab this. Move it over. That'll raise. And then we'll be ferried over. And then we have to wait forever. Uh, here, shot of the century? No. Uh, definitely not the shot of the century. I mean, that's bad too. Okay, well, let's just do it the normal way. Stasis. Lift stasis. And here we are. The 117th Shrine Award goes to... Us. Da 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 da. Now there are two more things I would like to do before I end off the episode. The first is get my second to last heart container, and I did so over at Terrytown because it's the easiest place to access a goddess statue. And the second is talk to Hastu because we have 35 Korok seeds in our inventory. We can upgrade our shield stash, and I'm guessing this is the last upgrade left so i probably shouldn't have skipped that because it was the last it would have been the last time we saw that dance yeah i think this is the last time we're upgrading it so i want to know what haste says the other korok seeds would be for expand a band van shield stash shakala shakalo you've enlarged all of your stashes nice <laughs> and that's it Really? You know what? It's all your inventories. Shakala! Thanks to you, my maracas sound so shaky shake shackety. There may be still some children in the for children of the forest out there. I'm sure they'd still love to meet you. So that's how we're playing this. He's not even going to tell me. He's not going to say a single word about additional Korok seeds. Which means I really don't know if there is a reward for getting all of them. And once again, as I say every single time, don't tell me. Because I would like to find out on my own. And this is, this is the one thing I'm doing for me in this. Is I will be getting all of the Korok seeds as much as it pains me to say that. And that's going to be done after we beat Ganon. I'm not sure if it's the first or last thing we're going to be doing in the adventure. But it's one of the things we're going to be doing in the adventure after Ganon. And with that, we're at the end of the episode. Once again, I would like to remind you, this is my map. These are all the shrines I have. If there's one I don't have, obviously I'm missing that one, then please tell me. Tell me where I can get that. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to, cron uh, I'm going to, have to catalog every single shrine I have for every single area and find out what I don't have, and then just go explore. So your comment will save me a lot of work, and it will make the viewing experience much better, since I will not be uh, very, I won't be worn out and frustrated from cataloging when I start the recording. So please tell me that. Otherwise, other things you can tell me. I think that's it. I think that's that's where we're at. We're at the end game right now. We're at the very end, tail end of the game. There are two more shrines, or sorry, three more shrines. Uh, left and we're going to be getting hopefully all of those next episode thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity please tell your friends share my videos uh, you could even start with the anniversary video that'd be that'd be awesome share my videos and do YouTube's work for it otherwise 
I'll see you guys next time on a Monday or a Wednesday. Even though these episodes are late, they're going to be going back to normal schedule Monday or Wednesday for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Man. When I started this recording session, I did not expect that I would get this far. I've only recorded three episodes, and in those three episodes, I am looking at the end of the game. This is something that I'm going to be doing very soon, is going into this giant hole in the center of the map. And I am dreading the end of the game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And meet me back here next time for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's going to be a good one. See ya!